Hey guys, how's it going? So today's video, I'm really excited for this one. And that is to look inside the internals of a two-stroke engine while it's running. And I've seen the top end and the explosion and the flame front going on inside different engines. I've seen inside of a rotary engine when it's running. I've seen inside of a nitro engine when it's running. But I've not seen inside of a two-stroke petrol engine. So today, I'm going to try and make that happen. Into my... My shed that's absolutely full. We have strimmer. They often have half cranks. I have a hedge trimmer that often has a half a crank. I've got bits, but I don't really want to be building something. I don't want to take something apart that's already. No, I'm not going to do that. So I've got another. That one. That one's got. Uh... Oh no, that... I need to use that to start it. Let's um, let's pull this one out because this one. It's just a cheapy. I've got that one too, actually. That's been out here for a few days. That one also has an accessible crank. These two. Oh, what did I do with this one? When did I even get it? 19th of the 2nd. 19th of February. It's loose. Missing its tank. Missing the air filter. It's probably all in there. I've just got to find it. Right, let's dig into that. Well, there's our window. <laughs> Although, the only tricky thing I've just realised is that... Look how much crankcase volume has been taken up by the... This insert here. So I guess that leaves us with two options. One, we cut out the insert, or we cut out this flat part of the insert, and we put it with clear perspex. That's not going to affect the cylinder volume, or I should say crankcase volume. Or do we just try it and put a cover over the end of it? I suppose we could always start with that first, and if we find that it's running really poorly, we can mix it up. I need to see if I can get some clear perspex. Oh, the recoil stuff. Start either is it right we've got some <laughs> we got some work to do right let me go and see if I, I can get any perspex we'll do a bit of googling right you're coming with me we're gonna cycle to the shop now where would plastics be this shop is huge spoil for choice so I come back with, there's actually ah, four pieces. I thought it was only two. Four pieces of acrylic and then seal all, which we're gonna use to seal up. I can probably just put a piece of brass tubing in there for that fuel intake barb if I, I've got a number of different size pieces, so it's not the end of the world. What we need to measure though, is the original size of this uh, crankcase cover. So we have, Six and a half by... Oh, we need to hold the fuel tank, don't we? Okay, that's going to go like that. So, let's scribe. Okay. Something like that. Okay, let's start off with checking the diaphragm. Feels a little bit hard. Uh, oh no, it's actually all right. That's not bad at all. We can go right back together. I'll, in fact, I'll just check that uh, check valve on the low side. Good. Well, that's a fantastic start. We might not even have to take it apart. Or at least clean it. Look away if you don't like using an impact on carbs. <laughs> it's probably making some people cringe. It's fine. Cylinder here. Again, it's very clean. 
I'll just take that screen out because you never know until it's out what it's actually like. <laughs> yep, that's fine. There's a little bit of very, very minor amount of dirt in there, but nothing that's worth even wasting time cleaning. And diaphragm. Uh, Looks good. Good. Right, now we need to clean up this area. And where did I put that barb? No wonder it gave way. This is tough. Tough to get off. There we go. Right, so then that little barb goes in here. And I'm going to put it in there with a little bit of um, seal oil. We'll try. Uh, spread coating on each surface to be joined together allows to cure for one to two minutes before mating surfaces. It's interesting. That said, just leave for one to two. It did say apply to the other surface, but there's not really anything to apply on the other surface, so I think we'll leave it. Check out this recoil. See what's going on with it. If I can get that off with an impact, that would be nice. Let's just go with that. Hey, we got it. So why are you playing silly buggies? You're not. There's something here. That's fine. Looks bent. That's bent up, isn't it? Look at that. That one's now right. The other side's low. Don't know why that's happened. Now, just stop the. A little bit on the gasket as well. Everything's set how it should be and there won't be any issues with air leaks. I think having too big of a crankcase is our issue. It's not sucking up fuel. On the low, open up by half. Let's see what half does. Give it a go. You're gonna you're gonna probably shake like crazy, but we'll just try to start with, and then I'll I'll kill it if necessary. <laughs> yes. Oh, we haven't got the I haven't got the means to open the. All right. Now let's see if we can do it in slow motion.
That's crazy. Hey guys, so I'm just letting that room clear out. I had a fan on the bay window was open. There was a lot of air passing through, so don't worry about me, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. I'll catch you in the next one.